Hello, and welcome to Raffles Cancer Centre's Blood Stem Cell Transplantation Program. This video will guide you through the process for the treatment of multiple sclerosis. There is a lot of preparation to be done before the transplant. After receiving your email, our transplant coordinator will work closely with our doctors to guide you through the treatment options for your condition and review your case. Upon receiving approval for your suitability for our blood stem cell transplant program, our transplant coordinator will schedule a consultation and clinical examination with our doctors at Raffles Hospital. If you are residing overseas, our transplant coordinator will work with our team at International Patient Centre to help plan for your trip. On the day of your trip, please kindly bring along any supporting medical documents with you. On the date of the appointment, please proceed to Raffles Cancer Centre at Level 10 of Raffles Hospital for your registration. You will need to submit to us the following items. Your past medical reports and or films, passport and your insurance card, if your insurance covers for the services at Raffles Hospital. After your registration, you see the haematologist and transplant coordinator for your consultation. Once you have decided on embarking on your transplant journey with us, our multidisciplinary team of specialists will be attached to your case. Prior to the transplant, you may be required to undergo tests such as several blood tests to check the kidney function, screen for relevant infectious diseases like hepatitis, a chest x-ray, a 12-lead ECG, lung and heart function tests to check your organ fitness level, dental assessment. You may need to be referred to a neurologist specialising in MS for further examinations if needed. Our staff will advise you on the cost estimates for each test and provide financial counselling for you. Once the test results are out, you will be scheduled for another consultation to go through the test results and finalise the transplant date. After which, you will be guided through important documents and consent forms. You will be brought to the business centre to make a deposit or payment for your transplant. Your treatment will first start with one day of chemotherapy to mobilise stem cells into the bloodstream. This is counted as day one of the mobilisation phase. On day five of your mobilisation phase, you will be given daily injections of GCSF to increase the stem cells circulating in the blood. This will be administered either by a nurse in the hospital or by a competent caregiver at home. There is a small risk of infection, however, you will be advised on what to do should you develop a fever. Stem cell harvesting is an outpatient procedure which is done by trained apheresis nurses under the care of haematologists. On the morning of your appointment, you will be shown to the procedure room at Raffles Cancer Centre to start the apheresis procedure to collect your white blood cells. The procedure takes about six to eight hours each time. You will need two to three days of apheresis to obtain an adequate number of stem cells for transplant. You will generally experience little, if any, discomfort during the apheresis procedure. You may experience numbness or tingling in your fingertips or toes, hand or leg cramps, lightheadedness, dizziness or chills. These discomforts can easily be overcome with medication. The collected stem cells will be sent to the lab at Health Sciences Authority for processing. You will be admitted to the transplant unit of Raffles Hospital and a central venous catheter will be inserted. You will be subjected to a conditioning chemotherapy regime to suppress the immune system. This involves a four-day combination of chemotherapy drugs. These are some of the common side effects that you might experience. Medication will be given to reduce and treat the risk of infections and side effects. The day of the transplant is an exciting day that offers a new lease of life. You will be awake for this process and it doesn't hurt. Your blood stem cells that have been harvested will be brought to your bedside and infused through your central line just like any other blood product. The stem cells migrate through the bloodstream into your bone marrow where they take root and begin to reproduce, giving rise to new red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. 
nurses at the ward will monitor you for any further complications. Engraftment occurs when the newly infused cells begin to reproduce within your body. This will usually occur within 10 to 15 days post-transplant. Throughout this period, you will be monitored carefully and you will be treated with broad-spectrum antibiotics as needed. Once your white blood cell and platelet counts have recovered and you are free of infection and other complications, you will be discharged and monitored as an outpatient. A steady return to normal blood counts varies depending on the patient and the transplant type, but it takes between four to six weeks. As an outpatient, you will need to return to Raffles Cancer Centre one to two times a week for a blood test and a consultation with your doctor. To help you improve your motor skills, an appointment with our physiotherapist at Raffles Rehabilitation Centre is recommended. During this difficult time, you may experience feelings of anxiety and stress. Talk to your family members or caregiver about your problem. Raffles Cancer Centre staff and counselling psychologists and psychiatrists at Raffles Counselling Centre are always ready to provide support. After 10 to 12 weeks from your first visit, you are ready to return home. Undergoing a transplant is a big decision. Here at Raffles Hospital, know that you will be in our safe care. Our team will be with you every step of the way.